guys, the Ultimate Filmer here, and welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be doing some levitation. We're, we're doing the levitation effect. First thing you need to do is take a shot of whatever you want to be levitating. You can either hold the object from the bottom, or the side, or even the top by a string or something. Just something that later will be easy to mask out. Don't move your camera and just take a clean plate shot, which basically means it's the same shot, but the object isn't there anymore. Okay, and now we're just gonna hop right into Power Director. Okay, so once you're in Power Director, you're gonna wanna have the clip of uh, whatever it is that's going on on the screen uh, happening. And you're also gonna wanna have the clip where there's nothing. So the clip where there's my hand and the plate, and then here there's nothing. So the first thing we're gonna do is drag this clip right underneath this one. And I've made sure they're the same lengths just by trimming them like so and so now this clip is on top of this one I know it doesn't look that way but on here you can see if I play the video and I'm actually gonna unlink the audio from this one so you don't have to hear it so what we want to do is to mask this one so that there's only a certain area that's selected where this clip will show we're gonna make sure we have this clip selected we're gonna go into designer mask designer and so I noticed that the plate has this sort of curved shape. So we're gonna look for one of these that has a curved shape. If not, you can create your own custom mask, but I'm not gonna be going through that today. But in a video soon, I might go over the mask designer and PIP designer. But just for now, we're gonna use this one. And as you can see, you can sort of see the outline. I don't know if you can tell because the two clips are slightly different. So what we wanna do is make this bigger. And since the curve gets gradually higher on this one, move it around until it gets to the right place. So you can't see the hand anymore. There we go, I think that's good. And we're actually gonna feather it to one. There we go. So now you can't see my hand. There is a slight change in between the mask and the rest of the clip, but we're gonna fix that later. So make sure you're on the first frame of the clip and we're gonna add a keyframe for position and rotation and so we've already lined up the first frame so we're gonna now go to the next one nothing has changed much i'm just gonna move the position a little bit and i'm gonna keep doing this making sure each frame you can't see my hand so i'm definitely sure we're not gonna need to change the scale and rotation i'm not sure anymore because it seems to be that we don't have to really change it at all and notice how short this clip is but it's taking me forever. That's why I've shortened it just while I'm doing this example. When I was editing the preview you saw earlier, it actually took me a lot longer. Also, the longer it is, the more time you're gonna have to spend doing it. Not only because it's longer, but because you actually have to refine the details more and really make sure that it's good because on a longer clip, people are gonna have more time to like figure out what's wrong with it so any mess ups you make might be more noticeable in a longer clip and we have come to the end so floating plate so now you can just click ok there's your floating plate if you play it back it'll look like there's a floating plate but I don't know if you can tell but if I increase the quality a little bit you might see this line here you see it move it's pretty obvious where the mask is right now so on this clip, we're just going to click Fix Enhance, go into Color Adjustment, and we're going to change the Exposure and Contrast, just like very slightly. So it matches just a little bit more. Okay, so now I've adjusted my settings to fit. You should still be able to see it though, just because they're never going to match. And I took this clip as soon as possible after I took this one so that none of the lighting would change but there's a lot of window lighting here so but we can fix that so all we have to do just copy this clip or control C and since we've ran out of tracks here we're just gonna add tracks we can add two video tracks because we're gonna need that and we'll just go to the next track and paste and we're gonna go into designer, mask designer with this clip selected. Okay, and so now we're just gonna right click on the position 
line and remove all keyframes because we don't need those. We're gonna go and find this mask right here, the square that is already feathered, and we're gonna feather it even more up to 10. So now we're just gonna zoom out so we can see what we're doing better and we're gonna increase the size so that it covers the entire clip. We don't wanna miss any spots and we're just gonna zoom in again. So we're gonna position it right before it starts to fade into the plate. So I think that's good and as long as the plate doesn't dip any lower then we should be okay and I don't think it does. Okay so now if that's all good, you can just click OK. That was easier because we didn't need to keyframe that mask at all. And there still should be a little line just on the sides of the plate or near the sides of the plate. So all you have to do to fix those is again copy this one now, paste it down here, go into designer, mask designer, and we can use the same mask for this one. We're just going to make it way smaller with the same feather radius too so we can make it just so that it fits the width of, or i mean the height of the screen and we're going to zoom in again okay so this one we do need to keyframe so we're going to click on position and on the first keyframe and what we're going to do for the rest of the keyframes is make sure it's not fading into the plate so you can see it fading but right before that, we want it to be positioned right before that. So we're going to go through the keyframes. I'm actually going to skip a couple. I'm going two at a time because the plate is moving generally at the same speed. And now I'm skipping three at a time because it seems to be I can do that too. Okay, and so once you're finished, we're just going to go and click OK once again. And now you should see hopefully no line on the left hand side of the plate so we have improved it at least a little bit and i can clearly see another line on the right hand side though and that's the last thing we need to do oh we need to add one more track so let's add a track and we can just go copy and paste we're gonna go into mask designer and we're gonna remove all keyframes and you know what I don't know why it's doing this but just make sure make sure you have this area selected where my plate isn't gonna be basically we're fading that line so as you can see I don't know why it was doing that black thing there but uh, when you play it, it's not there, so it's just a glitch. And that looks like it should be it. I mean, the playback is obviously going to be slow because um, that's because you're playing all these clips over top of each other. And for me, that's five 4K clips. So thank you all for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and perhaps subscribing if that interests you. And I'll see you all later. Bye. Oh yeah, and don't forget to leave a comment on what you think I should do next for a tutorial.